Sir Keir Starmer appeared as on programme and uh, we gave him a grilling about various things. And at one point, uh, we asked him a question in which he answered very fluently. And that was part of the video that we put out as a show. The Conservative Party then put out an edited version of this, a re edited version, a mashup that you did yourselves, which completely changed the context. And I want to show both clips. Why would the EU give you a good deal if they know that you're going to actively campaign against it? You give you a good deal if they know that you're going to actively campaign against it. Well, which is Pierce, clearly I... what most of you are going to be doing. Well, Piers, I have been talking to the EU, to political leaders across the EU 27 countries, for three years. Um, and I know very well what the parameters are of any deal that they would do um, with a Labour government. Now, that's just fake news, isn't it? No, Mr. no. No, sorry. So, 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 wait, why do you say no? That is fake news. You have deliberately re-edited, as a party, the end of that exchange to make it look like Sir Keir Starmer didn't answer. In fact, he answered immediately and fluently. That is the purest the definition point, of the fake point news. That we, no, the point, that we were, the point that we're making, and you highlighted so effectively in your interview, is the Labour's position on Brexit is confused, it's complicated, it's unworkable. Jean-Claude Juncker said this rene renegotiation on the timetable they were talking about is unrealistic. And the point we were making in uh, our video is, I mean, frankly, we didn't have the time to cover the whole of the interview because in, uh, I don't know how long you, well, you had, had time uh, to edit it, on for. Didn't you? you had time to uh, re-edit it, so I, you had plenty I of time. How long, I don't know how long uh, that, that interview was, but the bottom line is, across the whole of that interview, Sakir was unable to give a really credible plan yeah, for Labour's Brexit okay, policy. Hang on, let me just try. That's what we were synthesising. That's what we were synthesising. You, you seem video. completely unconcerned that the Conservative Party has taken live television footage. I posted and your live. And I, I posted your video of that interview. Right, the Conservative oh. Party website, the official one, posted a fake video that had a fake moment that never happened on television. And my question for you, again, as party chairman, is this. If you're prepared to do that on day one of a campaign, or not even, not even got to day one, why should we believe any video or anything that you guys put out? If you're prepared to be that shameless and that cynical and that misleading, why should we believe anything? Piers, uh, we put out, the, the official CCHQ Twitter account put out your video. Uh, what we did is because we wanted to make sure the video was short and punchy, we had to take out an awful lot of the of the waffle uh, and oh, the. Sorry, and, talking and of waffle, the... this is utter. You just didn't let Sakira Starmer answer the question. This is utter waffle. Let's just play it again so that viewers can see exactly what you did do. Why would the EU give you a good deal if they know that you're going to actively campaign against it? Which well, is Pierce, clearly I... what most of you are going to be doing. Well, Piers, I have been talking to the EU, to political leaders across the EU 27 countries, for three years. Um, and I... It's a fake, Mr Cleverly. But, I mean, you can, but, you Piers, can talk the, about the, it. The point is, other the point people's is, waffle. Actually, the truth is, the truth actually, is, that Piers, video that you put out... He didn't was a, answer your question. It was a fake... He did he answer, answer the question. question. He, answer. he didn't answer your question. He did answer the question. He didn't answer your you question. You may not like you the answer. You asked him. No, you no, asked him... I understand, but Why would the EU give him a deal? So why didn't you just put out the actual video? Why change it? Why we did distort... put out the actual video. You didn't. You changed the video. I, the, the official CCHQ account, which I retweeted, put out your video clip, right, which showed... The Conservative showed, Party which website... Showed the you Conservative asked, Party Twitter you account asked put out a, a fake... As you know, it put out a fake video. Johnny Mercer, who retweeted the fake one, has now put a grovelling apology out on his Twitter account for putting out basically a lie. And I'm staggered, frankly, that you're not prepared to sit here... You've always struck me as an honourable straight talker. How you can defend this? So, so the How point is... How can you defend this? It's, it's this, utter the, Well, if you let me news. speak, you, if you let me speak, well, you can on. hear. The point is, you asked a question about why would the EU negotiate if at the end of that negotiation uh, the Labour Party were going to say we're going to have a second referendum, probably another uh, referendum on, on uh, Scotland being ripped from the UK, et cetera, et cetera. And he then started talking about all yeah, the I meetings he'd had. I know what happened in the interview, Mr Cleverley. I know what happened in the interview. But you didn't the fairly well, Johnny, we well, making, Johnny Mercer has now the said point we here, were making Johnny is he Mercer, did not answer your me, question. One of your own not, MPs... He did not have an answer to 
to One your of question. your own MPs. And it's because the Labour Party. All right, you want to carry on defending on the indefensible. Let me well, read you a, a, a tweet this morning from Johnny Mercer, one of your MPs, right? Please, if you don't let me talk, you don't. There's no point in I having think me on the show. With great respect, you're talking a load of flannel, Mr. Cleverly. Well, we disagree. You on are that. defending fake news, and I want to read you what Johnny Mercer said. One it of would your appear in the Tory this party. has inexplicably been doctored at the end. I apologise and will remove it. The original interview was bad enough. I've no idea why this needed altering. I will call this out whichever side does it, including my own. I, Sorry, why are I you not prepared? You, I tell you why, why are you not prepared you as the chairman? That video. Yeah, why I are you not prepared to say what Johnny Mercer says? You're sorry. Sorry for Pierce, doctoring. I tell you why we clipped that video. It's because in the whole of that exchange, Sir Keir Starmer, who's the shadow Brexit secretary, was unable to yeah, credibly we know. express we know. So that's Labour's even Brexit more, position. As, and that's as your why own MP says... That's why we had to shorten the video. Right, that's why but, we had to shorten Mr. the video. Mr Cleverley, with respect... Because otherwise... Yeah, with respect, as Johnny Mercer, your own MP, has said this morning, that makes it all the more inexplicable that you would then doctor the video, giving the Labour Party a get-out. You well, had enough there to go th after them. I would, I would suggest... I would suggest that if people want to see the full video, they can go to the official CCHQ Twitter feed where the full video that you posted okay. do is you accept, available. Do you accept you doctored the video? We, did, we edited the video, just like you edit you accept, stuff on your you programme. Accept, no, no. Just you like you, everybody else, because we needed, to, short, do you we accept needed you, to shorten okay. the video. Do you accept you doctored it to make it look like he didn't give an answer when he did? Do you accept that? We clipped the video. We shortened the video. No, no, because that's not my question. What, did I'm you, answering your did question. Did you doctor it to show a different response no, to a question? No, we edited it. We, sh we shortened, right. we clipped the video. Okay. This is in what that case, how do, you explain, we... how do you explain this, then? So, the Conservative Party HQ press office Twitter account said there have been some inquiries about this video, blah, blah, blah. I responded to him and said this. You doctored the end of the clip you originally put out to make it look like Keir Starmer had no answer to my question. In fact, he answered immediately. You could have had plenty of fun with that interview anyway. Why fake it? To which they replied... Fair point, Piers Morgan. Is this version better? And the new version was the original version. This was then retweeted by Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister. He appears to accept that, I, that you doctored it. Your, no, your press office appears to accept you doctored it. No, no, you, do, point... you appear to be the only member of the Conservative Party who doesn't agree that it was doctored cynically to give the wrong answer. And again, I ask you, the, the one more time, we... why did you doctor it and do you apologise? Because it's misleading Pierce. and it's a lie. Piers, the point you were making is that we didn't need to edit it because the original video, the original clip, was so awful. That's what we were agreeing with. And we were saying, if people want to look at the whole unedited, awful interview that Sikir gave, here is the link to it. You can't claim that we're promoting fake news when we're also saying, well, look, here is the original. You can look at this. I, the sorry, point we're making, I'm sorry. Look, no, we're, no. Okay, we're going to disagree on it. I can We're going to disagree on it. I can claim. I get well, that. You can disagree. That's my explanation. But unfortunately, facts are facts, Mr Cleverley. You can't disagree with a fact. And we posted the, the full video. We you can't disagree video, with a fact, so people... Mr Cleverley. Well, that's your opinion. Facts and opinions it's are not. different, It's not. The fact is you doctored the video to give we a misleading edited... response. No, you doctored it. If people want to see the whole video, they can the go Prime to our Minister Twitter feed. The Prime Minister retweeted your press office agreeing you had doctored it, saying it was a fair point. Why are you disagreeing no, point... with your own press office and your own Prime Minister? The point we were agreeing, the point we were agreeing with was that the original video was bad enough, as it... And, and, so why doctor and, it? And as I, as I said, we edited it because, the, because your full video was too long for our feet. If people want to see the full video, we put a link to the full yeah, video. But you didn't edit it for that reason. You didn't edit it for time reasons. Pierce, you so hang on. It. So your, argu your argument doesn't make sense. You're saying we're but trying to hide the My argument is fact. you shouldn't fake well, videos. Mr. Your Cleverly. argument. Your argument. That would is make with... sense to most people who've watched this exchange. They would say, "Yeah, you know what? They faked it. They doctored it. They changed Pierce? it cynically and Pierce, ruthlessly to... to create a false impression." Pierce. That's what you did. It... Have you finished? Yep. Okay. The reason we clipped the video is to make it uh, uh, shorter because Keir's answers no, rambled on. No, you clipped on. it to make it a lie. That's Have what you, you did. Why don't you, you admit finished? it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a really important look, point of principle. Look, you clipped no, that video to make it a lie. And you should, you should be big enough look, to admit people it. Go, people can go and look at the full video, which we also presented. So if you're suggesting we're trying to hide the, uh, the full video, 
That is a ridiculous notion. No, we posted I'm suggesting full, you fake the video ending to make full, it look like something else. Because we else. posted the full video. Look, we're going to go around in circles. Yes. And piss, well, we and are, because is, unfortunately you're trying to dispute a fact. No, I am disagreeing with your opinion. It's not my and opinion. Yes, you it is. You doctored the video. Opinion. OK. You doctored the video, didn't you? We edited the video to make it shorter for our feeds. We you also changed... Well, let me show... Oh, OK. for goodness sake, Piers, let me finish. I know, we it's frustrating, isn't it? posted... You're we telling me that a fact is my opinion. the whole video. OK, let's just try one more time. Let's show the two... No, let's not, let's because I've the... now got to go to the next okay, video. OK, I'm just going to show interview. the viewers one we've more already, time... We've the two already clips, overrun... The two clips to show whether you think it's my opinion or a fact. Here's what happened. Why would the EU give you a good deal if they know that you're going to actively campaign against it? Why would the EU give you a good deal if they know that you're going to actively campaign against it? Well, Which is Pierce, clearly I... what most of you are going to be doing. Well, Piers, I have been talking to the EU, to political leaders... So, it's there. It's not an opinion. You doctored the video. You changed it. You edited it to make it look like he didn't we answer. We edited the video to make it shorter. And the point is, we also posted your interview. Okay. We are not going to agree on this. I appreciate no. we're not going to agree on it. But people can look at the people can look at our Twitter feed. They can both videos, and they can make their own judgment. They can. Uh, James, James Cleverly, Cleverly, we Thank need to let you indeed. go, as you point Thank out. You. Thanks very Thank much you. indeed, Chairman of the Conservative Party. Something tells me we're going to have to edit that particular bit of video to get it onto our Twitter feed today. It's quite an extended I'm, exchange. I just find that staggering.